Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can connect your physical access point in your SDA fabric deployment. Of course, I'm talking about a virtual environment, which sometimes is, it's a challenge to connect physical access point directly to your virtual environment. So in this case, I'm using EVNG for this lab and I was able to connect my access point directly to one of my fabric edge. In this case, as you can see here, if I apply a show CDP neighbor, you'll see that I have my access point and it's connected to my port 1024. So if we check the show access tunnel summary, you will see that I have my access tunnel up which is what is going to be used for VXLAN encapsulation. Remember that this switch is an SDA switch, it's a fabric edge switch. You can see that I have my sessions, at least with my border control plane two in this case. But yeah, I was able to connect my access point. Let me log in one more time. Okay, so let's check how you can do that, right? So first of all, everything is about cloud and how you connect your network adapters. And based on that is the cloud that you need to use. So in this case, for example, I have four network adapters, right? So in this case, the access point is using the network adapter three, right? So if I check this AP virtual or group, uh, you can see here that my poor group AP, it's associated with the virtual switch AP. So basically this, I, I tried to create a different virtual switch per connection. So this specific virtual switch is using my physical adapter on my VNIC2, where basically the access point is directly connected to my physical server. There is two ways to, to provide the PoE, right? If you have a switch that support PoE, that, that's awesome. I guess you just need to connect your switch directly to this specific VNIC or any port that is available on your server. But in this case, because I don't have a PoE switch, I, I'm using an external adapter to provide that power to the access point, right? That's another option. So. Once you have that, you can see that, that I'm using this VNIC and I associate that specific port group to my virtual machine, which is the EVNG machine, right? So in this case, the way that you can connect this external connection to your virtual machine, it's basically based on the cloud, right? So I have, in this case, this is cloud zero, this is cloud one, and this is cloud two, right? So if you check here, you just need to add the network and you can find here the different clouds that you can use. So as I mentioned, I use the cloud two to provide that network connectivity. After that, you need to follow the same process related to how the access point will communicate with the wireless controller, the option 43 or the DNS and all that stuff that you need to check, right? In order for this AP to be able to communicate with the wireless controller. I think what I would like to do is, let me log into that specific wireless controller. And as you can see here, let's go to access point. I'm able to see my access point, my physical access point here, right? This is the name that I'm using right now. Uh, this is the model of the access point. Also, uh, you can see that this wireless controller is also part of the fabric status is enabled. You can see that I have uh, multiple layer two VNI and also the layer three here. And if we compare this layer two VNI with the ones that I have in my switch, so VLAN, you will see that are similar, right? You have the access point 80, 90. So if I go here, 80, 90, this is four guests, and this is the data 
layer 2 VNI, in this case, 81, 80, 80, right? So with this, you know that it's, it's working, it's fabric enabled, right? And also, let me see what else I can show you here. We have the access point and this device, so this wireless controller should have also sessions with the control nodes. As you can see here, we don't have 250, just 251, which is my border control plane two, right? Interface loopback zero, 251, right? It's the only one, the only switch that I'm using right now, and this is for games, but my Encore controller is not enabled at this time. So basically I have my fabric, uh, I have all the components that I need to test my SDA deployment, right? Now, the challenge will be to test the wireless, right? Let me go here. Let me show you Catalyst Center and what I have. So if you, if I go to inventory design, let's go to design and network profile. Let's go to network setting. So here you can see that I have my SSIDs, right? In this case, the one that I'm using here is wireless underscore home. And what I would like to do is to test 8021X with certificate. So my computer should be part of the Active Directory and the certificates need to be installed in that specific machine so I can fully test 8021X using EPTLS, which is probably one of the common deployments that you will see over there. But uh, I know for now that it looks like it's working. Let me show you the inventory. I have my wireless controller, my access point, right? If I check my physical laptop, you can see that I have the wireless underscore home. So that means the access point is really broadcasting the uh, SSID, right? In my next video, I will try to test if I can use 8021X and see what happens if I can connect to this access point and see how that works. I have my I Catalyst Center eyes and my Windows servers are also virtual machines. So that's something that I will do in my, uh, in my next video. But for now, hopefully this can help you to connect your physical access point to your virtual environment. You can also virtualize the wireless controller. So the only really physical device that you really need is the access point and of course your server where you are basically running all these virtual machines. But that's what I have for now. Thanks for watching.